Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of how VSTA integration in SOLIDWORKS Premium 2009 has harnessed the power of the Microsoft.NET framework to extend its functionality. In the following video, we will work through a SOLIDWORKS tutorial to demonstrate how creating macros with the embedded VSTA can be used to automate tasks in this mechanical computer-aided design, or MCAD, application and we'll observe the resulting benefits of macro use along the way. So to start, we'll open a SOLIDWORKS sample project included in the SOLIDWORKS program files and copied to the desktop. When it opens, you'll notice that it's a candlestick holder part model and that it's complete except for the hole in the top needed to hold the base of the candle. We'll now create a VSTA macro using the macro recorder that will cut extrude that hole and automatically write the program code necessary to carry out the recorded actions. We'll then move on to perform two increasingly complex edits of the macro's program code using the VSTA Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, to make this macro more adaptable to other projects. We begin by clicking the record pause button on the macro toolbar then perform the actions we want the macro to execute in the SOLIDWORKS application. So first, we'll click the top face of the candlestick, then click to begin a sketch on the surface. To get a better view of the face we're going to cut extrude, we'll click the Normal button. We'll next select Circle as the sketch shape, anchor the sketch, and modify the radius parameter to change the length of the circle's radius to 15 before closing this dialog box. We then return to the Features tab on the ribbon and click to perform an extruded cut on the circle sketch, entering 25 for its depth value and 15 for its draft angle value. Now that the cut extrude is done, we'll click to stop the macro recording and save it as a SOLIDWORKS VSTA macro, either in the Visual Basic.NET or c .NET language. In this case, we'll save it in Visual Basic. Next, we'll click Edit Macro on the Macro Toolbar to open and view the program code generated by the macro recording we just performed. When we click to open the macro's VSTA file, the VSTA IDE launches. If desired, we could modify this code to correct any errors we made while recording or to change the macro's function. However, neither is necessary in this case, so we'll go ahead and build the solution. To test the macro, we'll undo the cut extrude we performed during the recording using the rollback bar, and click Run on the macro toolbar to select and run the macro we just created. When the macro executes, we can see that the cut extrude is performed on the same surface and with the same specifications as during the macro recording. In this next part of the video, we'll copy and paste an edited version of the Cut Extrude Macros program code included in the tutorial that will allow our Cut Extrude function to be performed on any face and at any selected sketch point. So we'll again click the Edit Macro button and open the recorded Cut Extrude Macro in the VSTA IDE. For the SOLIDWORKS user with some Visual Basic experience, it's relatively simple to make these changes. And by using the SOLIDWORKS VSTA Step Into feature, you can familiarize yourself with the meaning of the code line by line and learn through practice. We'll now save the changes we've made and build the solution for the modified macro. To test it out, we'll select the sketch point on the bottom face of the candlestick holder and run the macro. A circular cut extrude is created with the same dimensions as the hole on the top of the candlestick holder in the specified location. This last edit we'll perform on the macro will prompt the user to specify dimensions 
for the cut extrude to be performed at a selected point. Once the macro program code opens in the VSTA IDE, we'll go to Project, Add Windows Form, and click Add to create the dialog box the user will see when the macro is executed. We'll change the form name add a couple text boxes and a button to the form and change their names and finally place identification labels next to the text boxes. We'll double click the OK button to view its event procedure and copy and paste the code that will ensure the values entered in the dialog box are valid and then proceed with macro execution or otherwise display an error message. After saving this event procedure code, we'll go back to the main macro code and copy and paste the code needed to tie the dialog box to the macro. Finally, we'll save the changes we've made and build the macros solution. To test this macro, we'll select a sketch point on the bottom face of the candlestick holder and run it. We'll make the radius of this cut extrude 10 and its depth 5. When we click OK, a circular cut extrude with our specified dimensions is created at our chosen location. The last thing we'll take a look at in this presentation is how to customize the SOLIDWORKS interface by adding a custom macro button. By going to the Tools, Customize, Commands, Macros menu, we can click and drag a customizable macro button to our desired location on the SOLIDWORKS ribbon. This will launch a dialog box where we can select a button image, enter a tooltip and prompt, select our macro, and create a keyboard shortcut to execute the macro. When we once again select a sketch point on the candlestick's bottom face and then click the newly created macro button, the macro executes and launches its dimensions dialog box. Microsoft Visual Studio Tools for Applications, or VSTA, has been integrated in the SOLIDWORKS 2009 product line. This software customization solution has given the hundreds of thousands of engineers and designers who use SOLIDWORKS each day the resources of a software developer in a dynamic yet easy to use package. An expansive SOLIDWORKS user community has resulted with hundreds of macro files and tips available on the web and in print. The automation capability these users enjoy as a result of VSTA integration has saved time and resources and has meshed software and workplace in a revolutionary way. For more information regarding VSTA, visit Summit Software's website at www.sumsoft.com or contact us by email or phone for sales and information.